Hi everybody. Today I am going to talk about DocuSign integration with Django. If you have found this video, it means that you know what DocuSign does. But if you do not know about uh, DocuSign, I would recommend you to go to their official website, which is DocuSign.com, and learn about uh, learn about their facilities and the functionalities that they provide. Today, uh, I will show you how you can integrate DocuSign within your uh, Python application, Django application. And uh, we will talk about embedded signing. So uh, the way embedded signing works is DocuSign provides us with a facility where we can integrate the e-signing functionality within our application without uh, without uh, asking our users to go to the other sites although uh, it requires your users to be redirected to the DocuSign website just but that's only for uh, the signing purpose for most of the sections uh, in the embedded signing functionalities your users are going to stay uh, within the application uh, I can I would recommend you to go to their official website uh, the for uh, you know, for understanding the embedded signing functionalities which is available uh, in detail on developers.docusign.com website they have provided uh, different examples in different languages and you can pick any of these languages of your choice and uh, start uh, experimenting I have chosen Python for this tutorial and specifically Django so let's get going with the program actual program alright so what I have done so far is I have set up Django 2.2.1 and then DocuSign eSign which is the official uh, DocuSign library uh, written in Python so and it can be installed with the pip so the, the these are the two basic setups that I have right now and this is very much sufficient to get my document uh, DocuSign functionality going all right so I have uh, uh, prepared uh, four main URLs here one is to get the authorization code and after the authorization code is acquired uh, uh, we will get the access token once we have all these uh, fun details and we have got the authorization from DocuSign we will then generate the signing URL for our signers to sign and when the signing is completed, then we will redirect our users back to the application. Let us see. So I have this uh, get access code function defined here. As you can see, I've written here access token can be acquired in two steps. One is request the authorization code and request access token with the help of authorization code. So this function primarily takes us to this function with authorization code as you can see I have this base URL defined here and I prepared this URL and eventually I'm redirecting the users to this authentication URL and this authentication is uh, URL is defining the scope here which is to uh, acquire the signers signature I have client ID here and then redirect URIs so this redirect URI tells DocuSign to get back to a different URL with the authorization code and the second URL is auth login which is defined here so um, in order to see how it works let us first understand how this access token is generated 
so again we have this uh, base url defined here we are defining the auth code string here which is the combination of auth id and secret key and then we are generating the authentication token with base64 encode functionality now we are preparing our headers pretty normal stuff we have post data here and then now you are passing this post data and the headers with a post request to DocuSign in return DocuSign gives us the access token as you can see here I have redirected to the users to another URL with the access token if you want to see the access token I can show it to you if there is no uh, error in here we will be able to see the access token generated I go here and then sign get access code right I will log in with my account all right so you can see the access token here and on the URL you can see the authorization code so this function this auth login function is called with the authorization code which helps us generate the access token in return all right I will comment it out for the sake of our flow and now we have this functionality embedded signing ceremony once we have access token available you can see here that I am redirecting the user to get signing URL and I have defined it here get signing URL is embedded signing ceremony so in this functionality this is divided again into multiple sections the first step is we choose the document that is to be signed by our signers we choose the document we prepare the document object as you can see here and you can see I have already have my uh, document in in my static folder that is just a dummy document you can replace it with your actual contract and then I have signer object so I'm going to tell the DocuSign about my signers about all the signers in fact so first thing document is created second thing is that signer object is created and then on the third step we are defining the signing position for the user right so we have here x coordinate and y coordinate which tells the docusign about the actual position where the signer should sign and this tells the page number now once we have the signer ob uh, sign here object created we will create a tab on the document and when all three variables are prepared we will then prepare an envelope with all three variables the envelope is the combination of everything and this is the primary entity that will help us track the status uh, whether our documents are signed or not signed anything related to this flow will be uh, tracked with the help of envelope so we have here a email subject and then the document if we have multiple documents we can append it here in the list if we have multiple signers then we can append uh, those signers here as well and now we have this status and this is very important because this sent status tells our uh, uh, tells DocuSign to send this envelope to the recipients to the signers immediately right after it is uploaded and the moment it is uploaded document DocuSign will send an email to all the signers with this subject line all right so we have now prepared our envelope definition here now we have this API client API client is going to uh, create the envelope on in our DocuSign as, uh, account we have here um, API client 
and this is our we, we we are preparing our header with the help of the access token that we have received in our previous function and now we have this envelope api this is the api client and this is the result once the this envelope is created on the docusign uh, website in our account it will return with the envelope id which we are going to use in our next section as i have already mentioned that this envelope id is going to be the primary entity that we are going to deal with throughout this uh, throughout our flow once we have this envelope id created now we are going to create the recipient view and create the urls eventually the signing url as you can see we have this authentication method so authentication method is the method that will be used for uh, for your signers to authenticate themselves for now i have defined it as none because i don't want uh, to make the signing process complicated for my signers and then we have this client user id recipient id return url so return url tells this uh, while creating the signing url this return url tells that once the signing is completed you have to return my users back to my platform which is defined in this section next and then we are telling our docusign about the signer for which they are going to create this url and then once this where these variables have been prepared we will tell eventually DocuSign to create the create the URL and then you can see the signing URL here Okay, one important thing that We need to notice here is that uh, Setting this client user ID So and it is very important for the sign uh, embedded signing functionality because this tells DocuSign that this is not a normal signing facility but it is embedded signing functionality and this variable will be used uh, on you know several places as you can see here also so uh, that was the flow that will help us generate the signing url and then now we have the result here and you can see the result url is printed here now let us see this complete flow in order to understand the process all right so so far we have oops uh, it seems that our authorization code has expired so let's regenerate everything all right so our uh, signing url has been generated here i'm going to copy and paste it here it has taken me to the document url for me to sign i've clicked on here the document is already signed now i'll click on finish and as you can see that it has returned me back after the signing is completed to this url signing completed successfully this url all right so um it was pretty straightforward one thing before uh we conclude here the signing url is generated only for the five minutes so it is advised that the moment your signing url is generated you forward it to your signers immediately and ask them to sign it uh, and if you want to opt for a different method i'm going to cover it in my uh, next video where i will show how you can uh, uh, you know keep this uh, signing url for a bit longer time till then uh, goodbye and thank you so much for watching this video before i uh, end i would like to request you to subscribe to my channel and press the notification icon which is uh, below the video to get the notifications immediately when i upload the videos thank you so much for watching the video